If YouTubers haven't convinced you that a Ferrari will catch fire at any given moment, then head over to the salvage auction where you'll find several burn damaged Ferraris that all share one major trait in common. Except this one. I hope you all are doing very well out there. Welcome to another car of the day. I'm Sam Crack, and today we're going to try and figure out why this Ferrari has such considerably different burn damage than all the other Ferraris that are selling at the salvage auction with burn damage. You guys are going to need to help me out on this one because it's not completely cut and dry, but it should be interesting nonetheless. Before we jump right into these listings, got to give a huge thanks to the guys over at Ridge Wallet for sponsoring another Car of the Day video. I've been using my Ridge Wallet now a little bit over a month. I've completely converted from the big fat billfold that I had before. Ridge makes these premium minimalist RFID blocking wallets in carbon fiber, titanium, and aluminum. Check them out using the link in the description box below where you'll also save 10% off your first order if you use my coupon code down there. Big thanks to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring another one. Now this 2004 Ferrari 360 convertible has almost the perfect spec on it. It sold for quite a bit of money too, even considering this really strange burn damage that it has. We're gonna get to this car in a minute, but first we're gonna go to autoauctions.io where I've sorted out all the burn damage Ferraris that have sold previously. All I did was go to the side here, click Ferrari, click burn damage. We've been given this list of 12 different burn damage Ferraris, burn damage all being very similar on all these cars. You're about to see what I'm talking about. I just kind of want a lightning round through all these cars really quick and then go back to our 2004 convertible. Now, the first one on the list is this 2000 Ferrari 360. It sold for $10,100. From the front end, everything looks great. If we go through the photos and enlarge them, the car obviously had an engine fire. Now, this car actually has uh, quite a bit of it still remaining. I don't know how much of this stuff is actually usable, but there are parts there. There are some pieces that are going to be valuable to a parts reseller. There's a place called Fur Parts out in California that is a reseller of things like headlights, bumpers, hood. I mean, you got a lot of stuff still on here that's going to command thousands of dollars for each individual piece. Why someone is willing to pay $10,000 for it. Our next car is this 2016 Ferrari California. It sold for $2,100 because this car pretty much burned to the ground. Maybe there's a few usable parts right here in the rear. We could see a tail light that's probably usable. We also see the uh, exhaust tip. Now the big difference between this and most of the other Ferraris we're going to look at today is that this is more of a cruiser Ferrari while the other ones are sports car Ferraris. This has a front mounted engine uh, versus the rear mounted engines in cars like the 360, the 458, the 430, the new 488. And it looks like the fire did originate from the front of the car, again, where the engine was. Our next one is this 2000 Ferrari 360. This one sold for a little bit more, 19900 bucks, almost $20,000. And there's a lot of the car still here, even though it looks like, again, we have a rear fire likely caused in the engine bay, which is the reoccurring theme here. A lot of these Ferraris are catching fire in the engine bay, and then if they're burnt to the ground, they spread to the rest of the car. This one in particular has a ton of great usable parts on it. The front end is pretty much perfect. Who knows, maybe this car could even be resurrected. The engine could be repaired, whatever is broken in it. I'm not even sure what this is here. This looks like a burnt piece of fiberglass or carbon fiber or something from the engine bay area that just kind of fell down there. This is one of the better burn damage Ferraris we'll see here, whether it ends up being used strictly for parts or whether they'll attempt to rebuild it. There's still a lot of stuff here. Our next one is the only F430 that has sold in recent history. Again, almost sold for 20 grand. And it looks similar to those 360s. Clearly had an engine fire, burned half of the car pretty much completely gone the interior of the car pretty much completely gone again and all you got left is some of the front end components i mean my god look at the steering wheel it's really incredible to see what these cars look like when the fire just grows out of control and really there's no way of anybody putting it out but again on this one we do have some front end stuff some wheels probably some nice carbon ceramic brakes another 360 on the list I think you guys get the point that these engines are continually catching on fire, burning down pretty much most of the car. This one sold here for $4,750. There's not a lot of stuff left. Maybe a front bumper. Maybe we could salvage one of these headlights. The other one looks pretty well cooked. 
Maybe there's some internal headlight components, maybe one or two of the wheels, just not a lot of stuff left on these cars. Now we're gonna start to get into cars that sold for a little bit more money, the 458s. There's a couple of these that also burnt. Again, where it looks like the fire originated in the engine bay. You guys get the point yet? There's just a lot of these cars with the fires that originate in the engine bay. I still find it hard to believe that there's $22,000 worth of stuff on this car, but apparently there is another one very similar here in the search results. It looks almost identical to that one. Sold for $16,200. So you guys get the idea, 15,000 to 20 grand. Another 458 Italia, 150 bucks for a bunch of scrap. Another 458 Italia, 17 grand. Take a quick look at this 458 here because it looks like they stuck the engine on top of what was left on the car. I mean, my God, this is the most interesting 458 in the list because it doesn't look like a 458, but there was enough interest to fetch $2,325 from this car. We've made it back to the 2004 Ferrari 360 Spider that this video is all about. The best part of this car and why I wanted to bid on it so bad, it has that six-speed manual transmission that is absent from every single modern Ferrari now. It's also got that Challenge Stradale grille. It has 12,759 miles being offered for sale by the insurance company. It actually sold for $45,750. Now, if this car was not a salvage title car, which it is in the state of California, of course, didn't have this damage, I imagine it would cost around a hundred grand. This is a later model 360, being that it's a 2004. The only thing that might make it slightly less desirable is that it's a convertible, but still, it's desirable enough. It's a Ferrari with a six-speed manual. This is an all-around amazing car. And the burn damage obviously isn't as severe in the other ones. And from this rear profile shot, it doesn't seem that the fire originated from the rear. Although, as you're about to see in some of the angles of the photos, there is what looks to be burn damage on the glass cover over the engine bay. The other burn damage we see is uh, some, some weird stuff here on the windshield, but right here on the hood and also on that front fender, there's definitely a bunch of paint bubbling likely created by some sort of fire, as well as you probably saw it already, the interior. Now, in my opinion, the burn damage in the interior is really kind of like the most realistic burn damage of the entire car. If we look here, we see that the center column has some burn damage on it. We see that the radio has burn damage on it. We see that there's a little bit of burn damage here on the AC vents. Even looks like there might be some funky stuff here door panel wise. This is a strange car. Now if your radio caught fire, and I've seen it before, I did a video in the past on a Miata that actually caught fire. They didn't install the radio correct in the dashboard. They didn't use a fuse. Most of the interior of the car was burned because of that. Very, very strange. So even though the fire centralized right here in the radio area, burn this makes sense. How did this get burned? Well, it probably has to do with the outside of the car, that side of the car being burned, maybe with the top down, likely with the top down. Because if we go back to the photos of the car with the top up, the first thing in my mind that would burn in a car that had a fire is the top doesn't have a single burn on it. Now, a bunch of things came to my mind. Maybe there was a car or a building or some object on fire next to the car and uh, scorch the paint. I've seen that done before. But with the interior burn, that hypothesis just doesn't make much sense. Right here, it says, do not touch on the hood. I'm wondering if it's completely burnt all in the front trunk area here. My best guess, I'm gonna go right back here into the interior and I'm gonna guess that a fire started somewhere between the front trunk and the radio area, okay? Uh, causing the damage you see up front. It actually burned from in the trunk area up, bubbling up the paint here that we see on the hood, on the fender region. I'm assuming that a lot of the front stuff underneath this trunk, underneath the plastic, underneath the body panels is burnt, but that still does not explain the damage on the driver's side door and of course in the engine bay. Really quick looking in the engine bay, it looks like there could be a burn on one of these intake shields right here. Uh, this appears like it could be burnt, but it's not. It's just a reflection from the glass. So again, I'm gonna go with electrical fire. I really wanna hear 
what you guys think. Let me know in the comments section below why this Ferrari is burned in the way that it did. And then also let me know. Do you think the car's worth $45,750? Uh, the fact that it runs and drives and the engine starts and the engine bay looks as clean as it does is a really good sign. I do not regret letting this car go for over $45,000. I simply think it's too much for too big of a mystery. Maybe the person that bought it and won it was able to put their hands on it and decide that this thing can be repaired. If it can, once it is repaired, they've got a car that is worth upwards of $75,000, $80,000, even with the salvage title, as these manual transmission Ferraris will continue to hold their value and slightly increase over the foreseeable future. Now, guys, if you enjoyed this car of the day, be sure to hit that like button. Also, send me links of unique cars, of cars with weird and or strange damage, or maybe damage that has been fixed up a little bit and run back through the auction to my email, samcrackauto at gmail.com. Guys, I really appreciate you watching today, and I will catch you very soon.